This is our third video on vector functions of curves in SAGE. Here we're going to be looking at some more commands. We've looked once at extract the components where we used R bracket and then one number less than the number of the components. So R bracket 0 gets out the first component, R bracket 1 the second component, etc. We're going to be looking at the command for evaluating, which is our vector function, and then parentheses, parameter equal to a number. We're going to be looking at the magnitude commands, absolute value and norm, and the, the derivative command, diff of the vector function with respect to the parameter. So let's look at those. Here we are at our first set of commands. We declare our variable, that is our parameter, t. We define our vector function r as the vector, two parentheses, and then the helix, the x component is sine of t, the y component is cosine of t, and the z component is t. Now this is the new part where we're looking to evaluate this vector function at the value of the parameter t equal to 3. Let's click on evaluate, and notice that we get an exact answer. It, it just puts 3 in in place of t. If we want a numeric answer, we would put r of t equal to 3.0, and it knows that we're after a numeric answer. And we will get one with, I think, 10 decimal places. Now, here's where we're defining our magnitude as a scalar function. This is a real valued function. It's, by hand we're doing it, the square root of the first component squared plus the second component squared plus the third component squared. We have to type in view to see it and evaluate. And there it is. There's the first component squared plus the second component squared plus the third component squared. We could use the ready to use command for magnitude, absolute value. Let's put a view command in there. So let's evaluate that and see what we get. Notice that by hand and the absolute value command give us exactly the same result. Now let's look at the norm command as opposed to the absolute value command. So let's hit enter and write view m3 here. Hit evaluate. And it's slightly different and it has absolute value signs in here, which is the same because it's being squared. And then I wanted to show you that Sometimes you will see this kind of notation, this is coming from, I believe, Python, where instead of writing norm of r, I would write the, the function first, a period, and then the command. We'll see that in the derivatives too. So if we type in view m3, okay, and evaluate this, we see that we get the same. Let's look at the derivative commands. Here is the standard SAGE notation for finding the derivative of a vector function. Now remember this will be a vector function itself, right? It will take derivatives of each of the components. So this is diff of r with respect to t. We'll put a view in it and evaluate it. If you don't see it, put view of it. Okay? Or you could use the Python notation where you put the function first, point, diff, and then the parameter. I mention this because when we when we go to some other commands, you have to use these. And we get the same one, notice. Uh, here's where we're going to move from a vector function into a scalar, that is a regular function, by taking the norm. It needs a view there, so a view ds, and then we get to see it. There it is. Okay, and then here's where we're going to evaluate this function at t equal to 3, so we should get a number, but we don't because it's looking for an exact answer. So then if we put 3.0 in and hit evaluate, we should get a number now. And notice it's the square root of 2 because these add up to 1, of course. Or we could use the numeric thing, we could use the n in front, which also numerically evaluates what's inside there to get the same answer. So there's some commands that we could use with vector valued functions.